Hello everybody, it's Aaron from Screen Stars back once again to do another review for Geek Legion of Doom and today I am reviewing the drama movie Fear, Love and Agoraphobia. Um, a movie that for a lot of ways was one of the most surprising movies I've seen in a very very long time. Now I like a good drama but generally speaking I have to be in the mood to watch a good drama sometimes. Um, and when I watched this it was probably almost the perfect time it was a nice Easter afternoon no disturbances and I was allowed to watch and enjoy this and I have to say a surprisingly brilliant film that we have on our hands here guys a film that is likely to go unnoticed in a lot of ways but definitely I suggest you get the up if you get the opportunity to watch this movie I don't think you'll be disappointed if you're a fan of filmmaking and acting and the art and craft of movie making then this is a film that you will enjoy definitely and what we have here is a film that stars Dustin Coffey I'd never heard of him before this movie Linda Berninski again I'd not heard of her before this movie and we also have an appearance by Laurie Petty, who you will recognise from uh, films mainly in the 90s, things like Point Break. And we have a film that focuses on Chet's character, who basically suffers with agoraphobia. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's someone who has a crippling fear of going outside. And he... I think how he describes it in the movie he, he kind of says yeah, he describes it to someone in the movie that um, agoraphobia is when imagine when um, you know that crippling fear you have when you when you have to um, talk in front of people that sort of thing some people suffer with that he says well I, I suffer with the same thing the same fears and anxieties when I have to go outside and it's, it, it kind of it almost paralyzes him and he gives, I am not kidding, an amazingly fantastic performance. Wonderful. Where has this guy been? Amazing performance. Um, I know someone personally who suffers with this. Um, slightly differently with what, what this movie portrays it. Um, and I know how crippling it can be in regards to removing someone from society because they can't go out, they can't inject themselves into society and I know how crippling that can be. So I found his performance magically, it was absolutely wonderful. Um, and he basically in the movie, um, his mum moves, he's moving, moving cross coast, initially was going to go with them but he backs out, he just can't do it, his fears won't let him. So she says, right, well I'm still gonna go, you keep the house. And you need to basically, you know, get get over this and get back into the world sort of thing. So she, the mother goes, he's left on his own and he decides to rent out a room in the house. And under the premise that the person that comes in has to do a lot of tasks for him, like go and do the shopping and go and do all the outdoor stuff because he can't do it. And lo and behold, we get um, Linda Berninski's character, who is an ex-Marine, who is very very scarred um, her husband's in prison for life it looks like and she's basically an alcoholic who's living in the back of a, a people carrier a van she can't go on like that so she she ends up renting this room um, off Chet and essentially they are both very very broken people who in their own ways heal each other in really quite beautiful and subtle ways it's such a fantastic character piece this um, you literally are completely drawn in by these performances um, you feel emotion with them uh, you feel pity when you should you can you empathize when you should um, I've seen quotes saying that these two guys give pitch perfect performances and I couldn't have put it better they absolutely do. I don't know if it's if it was lightning in a bottle with these two guys in this movie. Um, because if it isn't, people need to start hiring them now for movies because they deserve to be in a lot of them and to get a lot of exposure. Because um, 
I don't think some of the top actors and actresses uh, that you could think of could give performances like this. Special performances by everybody in this movie. Um, but also what makes this movie so endearing and charming is there's a layer of comedy in it that just makes it so sweet and you do find yourself chuckling at the appropriate times when it wants you to, when it invites you to you find yourself laughing um, and it's very very subtle it's not full on comedy and it's again it's pitched perfectly the comedy in this movie so guys I, I strongly recommend that you get this movie watched um, it's doing very very well on the indie is my understanding um, and it really is um, a great character piece that focuses on these two lives that are in their own ways broken who come together as human beings and um, like I say in their own way heal each other um, it, it isn't for everybody I granted this movie it's very slow paced there's not a lot of happens in regards to ooh, you know what's happening on screen it's just a mainly a character piece and I wasn't particularly taken with the forest gump themed ending if you like and if and if you watch this movie and I don't want to say anything because I don't want to spoil it you'll know what I mean um, there's a bit of a forest gump themed ending it right at the end it doesn't necessarily give you uh, a lovely jolly happy ending in a way that you might anticipate but it does if you actually sit and analyze it afterwards it gives an ending that is completely real and realistic so guys this this film I have to say I absolutely loved it it's an 8.5 out of 10 for me um, I'm definitely going to be buying this when it's um, when it's out on blu-ray DVD and I strongly strongly recommend guys that this is a film that you watch you won't be disappointed it really is a wonderful film go and see fear love and agoraphobia